Hey guys, so I just got back from the doctor's office where they took some blood and they're going to check for my estrogen level. They're going to also check for the testosterone level and they're going to make sure my red blood cell count is not high anymore. So I will let you know what they find out. Okay, well the results did come back and there's a reason why I chose to wear a Superman shirt because I've got to uh, kind of balance out some of my manliness here. Manly. 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 My estrogen level came back higher than it's ever been, ever. Uh, you'll see here that it was 66.7 as opposed to when I checked it back in February, it said 51.5, as you see there. Now, you might recall from a past video, actually this past video, I chose to reduce my testosterone from 150 milligrams per week down to 125 milligrams per week to combat my high estrogen. Uh, I mentioned in that video that I'm choosing to take a more simplistic approach to all this or reduce my levels and just buy testosterone. And that's what I've been doing for weeks now. My doctor's prescribing me testosterone cypionate for my low testosterone. However, I don't want injecting that to then cause me to have to take uh, an AI aromatase inhibitor, estrogen blocker, whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to find the perfect balance so that I don't have to take an AI. So that's why I chose to drop my testosterone down a little bit. Well, obviously, <laughs> that didn't work. And so my doctor, listen to this, has chosen to reduce my dosage now down from 125 milligrams per week down to 80 milligrams per week. Uh, if you saw from my uh, lab work here, I actually got this done about a month ago. So um, I've been injecting that lower amount now for a few weeks. I kind of tapered off. I kind of moved into it slowly. And so now I've been injecting 80 for a few weeks. What's it been like? Well, my um, energy level is still pretty good for the most part. I haven't noticed a huge difference there. I have noticed a bit of a difference in my motivation. I would say my motivation is a little bit less than it has been. So I think my body's just gonna have to get used to this new dosage because guys, I really, I really don't want to be dependent on an estrogen blocker. My body, when I was producing testosterone like I was supposed to, uh, kept my level just right. And so I want to try to mimic that as closely as I can. That's why I chose to inject every week. Uh, some people have even been leaving me comments saying, hey, you should inject every three days because it keeps it you know, right there in the middle uh, even much better. Anyway, so lower motivation slightly, and I'm gonna just try to get used to this and then go and check my blood again in the future and see, hey, is this helping? Now, another reason why I'm okay with reducing it down to 80 milligrams per week is because he also checked my testosterone that day. And if you'll see here on my paperwork, look where my testosterone landed. 1361. Are you kidding me? Wow. That's, that's high. Um, I think his scale, he chooses to go from 300 to 850 being... Um, normal ranges of testosterone for men of my age. Currently, I inject on uh, Thursday, and you might remember from past videos we've talked about this, uh, testosterone cypionate, at least, it peaks in your system two days after you inject. So, I injected on a Thursday, it would have peaked on a Saturday. I went in to get my blood work done on a Monday, so that would have been, again, two days after that. So my testosterone would have been almost in the middle of where it's supposed to be since I then would have been injecting just three days after that again on that Thursday. So if it's basically in the middle of where it's supposed to be and it's testing 1361 nanograms per deciliter, that's another reason why I'm fine with him reducing it down to 80 milligrams per week even though that's lower than I've ever injected ever. But so far, so good, and I'm, I'm happy with that. 
So that's what's going on guys, that's where I'm at right now, trying to get this estrogen uh, in line, trying to reduce it and get everything just right how it's supposed to be. How do you do it? Do you choose to use both testosterone and an AI and uh, do you stay that way all the time? Do you always use an AI or do you go on it and off of it? How do you choose to keep all your hormones perfectly in balance? The simplistic approach or taking multiple things? Um, are you okay with that? Leave in the comments below and please leave a like if this has helped you at all. That really helps the channel and I would really appreciate that. Thanks to all my subscribers. You guys are a great bunch. I really appreciate all the comments you guys leave to help all of us. That's what this channel is about, helping each other, right? Take care. God bless. Peace.